We're looking at homework from section 5.4. This is question number 17. The weights of ice cream cartons are normally distributed with a mean weight of 12 ounces and a standard deviation of 0.5 ounce. A. What is the probability that a randomly selected carton has a weight greater than 12.11 ounces? B. A sample of 36 cartons is randomly selected. What is the probability that their mean weight is greater than 12.11 ounces? So when we look at these two problems, the difference between part A and part B is that in part A, we're looking for the probability that one single carton exceeds this weight. And in part B, we're looking for the probability that a group of 36 cartons has an average weight that exceeds this particular weight. So when we're looking at groups and their averages and the probability for that, that would be a central limit theorem problem in part B. Part A, we're going to use the classic version of the z-score formula to find our probability. So let's start with part A. In part A, we're going to find the z-score by doing z equals x minus mu over sigma. The x value is 12.11, mu is 12, and sigma is 0.5. That's 0.11 over 0.5, which is 0.22. Once we have our z-score, we're going to turn to the table of values. When z is equal to 0.22, we're looking at the positive side of the standard normal distribution table. We look for that table value for 0 0.22, and that value is going to be 0 0.5871. So because we're dealing with a greater than area here, greater than means area to the right, and area to the right is found by doing 1 minus the table value, the probability here is going to be 1 minus 0.5871 which is 0.4129, and that's your answer for part A. In part B, because we're looking at a group of 36 cartons, this is a central limit theorem problem. So we need to find mu of x bar and sigma of x bar. Mu of x bar is equal to mu, and mu is equal to 12. Sigma of x bar is sigma divided by the square root of n, which is going to be 0.5 divided by the square root of 36, which is 0 0.08333333. Now we find our z-score. To find the z-score, it's z equals x bar minus mu of x bar over sigma of x bar. We insert the values where they go. We get 12.11 minus 12 over 0 0.08333333. When we simplify, we get 0 0.1 divided by that decimal. And when we divide and round to two decimal places, we get a z-score of 1.32. Once we have our z-score, we turn to the standard normal table. Because that z-score is positive, we need the positive side of the standard normal table. We look for our z-score of 1.32 on the table, and we get a table value of 0 0.9066. So because our table value is 0 0.9066, and we're looking for a greater than area, Greater than represents area to the right. Area to the right is found by 1 minus the table value. So this probability that x bar is greater than 12.11 is 1 minus 0 0.9066. When we subtract, we get 0 0.0934. And that's your answer to part B. And that's your answer.